All right, before the video gets started, listen, listen. I know it's 25 minutes, but this is probably like the funniest thing I've done yet. This content stuff is getting better, bro. It's getting better. So give it a chance. Also, half the shit is a joke. My brothers, my brothers. My brothers and sisters. Fishmen, giants, and humans. All alike, Buccaneers, Lunarians, all the same to me. I welcome you to the Church of Nika, where the sun rays over the land, the sun shines bright, and the laughters are filled with joy. No man is looked on as different over here. No man is treated different. In the Church of Nika, can I get an amen, Nika? Amen. 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 In the church of Nika, we have a lot of speakers here. We have a lot of speakers here in the church of Nika. We're going to talk about a lot of stories today. I hope you guys understand. I hope you understand. That no man should be treated differently by the color of their skin, race, ethnicity, sexual orientation. We have a wonderful cast. We have a wonderful cast. And the first one who's gonna be coming out for us today, the first one who's gonna be coming out for us today is Pastor Tyrone. He's gonna be talking to us about a great evil that once plagued the land of Fishman Island. And that plague, I can't, I can't do it. I can't do it. Pastor Tyrone, Pastor Tyrone, are you here, my brother? I'm here, my friend. All right, everybody else, everybody else, we know the deal. Pastor Tyrone has a few words to say to us. I hope y'all enjoy and listen up. Listen up good, y'all. Listen up good. So, I will have to begin by saying that Horty Jones is the devil. He is evil incarnate. Mm. He is the topic of our discussion of this sermon. And that is who we will be slandering in the name of Jesus. Praise be his name. Amen. Can I get another amen? Amen. amen. I didn't hear you. Amen. 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 In the name of Son God. Oh, saying just saying that break it just fills my heart with joy, with compassion, with laughter. I would also like to say that the devil doesn't always wear Prada. Sometimes, only sometimes. He's a pill popping fiend. Mm. And, and you know what we do with fiends? We, we throw them, them in the trash. Mm. We throw them in the pits of Tartarus. <laughs> this man, this this fish man, I love fish man, but I don't like Cordy. I don't, I, 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 every fiber of my being tells me that he is scum. He is the lowest of scum. Mm. He enslaved humanity, repeating the cycle of hatred for what? For nothing. for nothing. He is a vehicle of hatred with no engine. I say he is a vehicle of hatred with no engine. Now, why do I say that? Because his hatred has no basis. Mm. It has no reason. He Angel. is a vehicle with no engine. No engine. Now, when Horty's plans started to fall apart, when he cast doom upon the fish man, upon the humans, when he, he even killed his own men. He spit in the face of, of everything he said. He, he acted like he cared about his fellow fish man when in reality he was a sociopath. Do we know what a sociopath is? Tell me something. A Tell sociopath us, has no emotions, brother. No emotions. I can't, I can't, even, I can't even bring myself to, to even talk on this, man. Like, what is, what is wrong with this individual? This brother is sick. Sick. This, the, when, when this, man, this man was asked why he, he was doing all this and what did he say? I'm going to tell you what he said. What did he say, brother? He said no reason. The no devil. reason. No reason. The devil. He did this because he wanted to. For he fun? Didn't do this because he didn't do this because he was hurt. Yeah, for fun. But he didn't do this because he was hurt. He did this because he wanted to. That's it. He killed so many. 
he he even almost dropped the ark on Fist Island. And what is the ark? What is the, the ark? The ark is a gar it's a ship of gargantuan size, and if it dropped, it would have wiped out everything. But who saved the day? Who saved the day? Who saved the day? Who saved the day, brother? Who saved the day? Please tell me. Who's our savior? Our Lord and Savior Nika. Nika! Because God himself, <laughs> praise be his name. Nika, <laughs> Nika. I, I can't hold it in. My, my, my heart is filled with joy. Yes, yes, yes. Praise the sun. Praise him. That's... I, I can't I can't speak anymore. Sister Mari, would you like would you like to say a few words? Sister Mari, Sister Mari. Yes. Now, Sister Mari yes. is is a is a long friend of mine. Long time friend. Long time friend. Let's, let's stop the music for me. Stop the music. It's important. It's important. I need y'all to understand where Sister Mari is coming from. Mm -hmm. Sister Mari understands <clears throat> what it means to be a fish man. Because you see, Sister Mari is a mermaid a part of the fish mankind. Mm. And Sister Mari has understand and felt the pain of her, her brothers and her sisters. Her brothers and sisters have felt so much pain, but they found a savior with, within one of them. And this savior is like no other savior to, we, to us. We know her, we love her. Sister Mari, do you mind? Do you mind if you take it away, Sister Mari? Yes, yes, I got this. I do mine. No, I don't. I feel anointed in this house tonight. Mm. I said I feel anointed in this house tonight. Why, mm -hmm. Sister Mari? I have a testimony that I must tell you about my testimony. Mm. Man, my queen, my queen. Oof. Oof. Take your time. Take your time, sister. Take your time. I forgot her name. Otahime. Otahime. Otahime, my love. She told us that there was life outside of this life that we're already living. Mm. There's more for us to seek. But did we listen? Did we listen? No. Mm -hmm. We didn't listen to a word she said. And we stood with our tail tucked in between our legs, crying for hope. But you know what? She was our hope. Lehime was our hope. She told us, she said, hey, our babies are our future. If we want better, we start with the babies. Amen, amen. She gave us just a single piece of paper. Now I know you hear paper and you're like, what am I supposed to do with that? Paper? What's paper supposed to do? Mm. Peaceful protest. She told us with the twinkle, a sparkle in her eye and a huge smile on her face, to sign this paper so we can go to freedom, so we can see the sun. And we did, or we didn't. At first we were like, screw this paper, I don't, I don't need this. We were blind, A petition, we? lying to ourselves, man. What but am I supposed to do with a amen. 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 Amen, amen. Amen, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Chat, can I get an amen? Can I get an amen from chat, please? We signed those papers and she was so excited. She she knew that she was gonna bring us to the sun. We were gonna be able to walk on land, mm. be free. Mm. But then, Horty killed her. The devil himself with his own oh. bare hands took oh, our oh, hope oh. away from us. Mm. Curse, curse you, like, Lord. Curse you, brother, Hordy. The devil. We oh, had nothing yet. yet again. For the second time, we had nothing. 
but but Nika but God Nika he came down on his beautiful golden sunny ship he brought the sun to us the sunny let me mm. correct myself the sunny he brought the sunny to us mm. and now yet again we have hope to see the light and walk the earth's ground mm. sister mari sister mari if you don't mind if i interrupt when you say the sunny are you talking about the thousand sunny the ship that could cross a thousand seas a hundred times over Hallelujah! Oh, Ooh, praise Nika, praise Nika, praise Nika. Praise his name. Glory, glory. That's all I have for y'all tonight. Mm. Mm. Y'all remember, hold him close and he will save you. Amen. Amen. This brother does not get talked about enough to me. This brother is a legend among fishmen. You might know his name. You might fear this man. But no, this man was on the side of humanity. This man saw the truth of the world. This man is no other than Fisher Tiger as I like to call him, Brother Ty. Hallelujah. <laughs> Brother Ty. I had to write something down because Brother Ty is so great. I'm sorry, I get a little emotional thinking about Brother Ty. Sorry, Brother Take Ty. Take time. Brother Ty was, was just like any other fish man. He grew up in the fish man district where all the young ones grew up and played, you know? blind to the world mm. didn't know the truth mm. yes, yes. but as as brother ty got older brother ty was curious like any other child but brother ty had a passion to go see the upper sea to go see the sun and see the land that nika walked on he wanted to see what was so great so brother ty vanished from fishman island for a while he vanished. No one knew where he went. And all of a sudden, Brother Ty reappeared. And when Brother Ty reappeared, everybody had one question to ask Brother Ty. What did you see? Who did you see? Was it good? And Brother Ty could only say one thing that left everybody. Not one fishman knew what to say after this. He saw the truth of humanity they were puzzled confused a little deterred but they trusted him brother ty when he said he's going back to the sun to the sea i'm sorry i'm sorry he's going back to the sea no one knows what brother ty did until a few days later and i i myself was shocked when i read the newspapers and saw this 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 act alone cemented this man's actions in my life brother ty went back to the upper sea and with his bare hands he climbed the red line mm. i repeat that i repeat that one more time with his bare hands brother ty climbed the red line mm. Mm. yes lord yes lord yes he climbed that red line I don't know how long, but it's long, okay? It's long. And he made it to the top where the Holy Land is, Marie Joie. He made it to the Holy Land of Marie Joie. And you wonder Ooh. why? Why did he go to Marie Joie? Because he saw the truth of the world where the celestial dragons lay, where they keep the slaves, where they discriminate, where they abuse, where they. I can't, I can't do it. I can't do it, brother. I can't. My lord. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. He okay, saw brother, the evils. 
He saw the evils and couldn't stand for it no more. Mm. Someone must have missed that. Tell us again. He saw the evils of the celestial dragons and couldn't mm. stand for it no more. Mm. So what did mm. he do? Gun in hand, sword in the other, one man. Let me say that again. Gun in hand, one sword, one mm. man. He raided Marie's wall to free the slaves that was held captive by the celestial dragons. He freed those slaves. And you would think, was it just the fishmen? No, it wasn't just the fishmen. It was humans, giants, fishmen, all alike. Hey man. He saw nobody as, a, as different. He saw us all as equal. Some names you might understand. Gaming with Paula D just followed. Gaming with Paula, thank you for enjoying the service. Game, thank you, thank you. Amen. You might recognize some names as Boa Hancock. He Amen. freed Boa Hancock and her sisters. Yes, 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 yes. Hallelujah. She was able to see the light of the day because of him. Do y'all understand that? Praise his name. Fisher Tiger was the first man and the only man to launch and lead a successful raid on Marie Joie, the land of the celestial dragons, something that was never thought to be, be achievable. Amen, amen. Now, before I end off my, my story, it's one last thing I wanna say. Brother Ty did not end his journeys there. Because he knew the truth of humanity and he knew where the evils were. It laid within the world government. So what did Fisher Tiger do? He became a pirate just to disturb the world government. So they had something else to do. Something else to deal with. And in his journeys, he ran into one of the slaves that he had freed. A young little girl, a human girl. Now you think, Fisher Tiger didn't care for humans. The Fisher Tiger I know didn't even like humans. That's a lie. Fisher Tiger might have not liked humans, but he understood if he went around hating humans, he'd be no better than the humans. Amen. I'm gonna say that again. I don't think y'all understood. Fisher Tiger might have not liked the humans, but he knew better than to go around hating the humans because that make him no better than the humans. Amen. 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 To freedom. To freedom. Now, with this little girl, she lived her life as a slave. She knew nothing besides work and don't cry. And Fisher Tiger could see the trauma in this girl's eye. And what did Fisher Tiger do? He said it in his mind, not because this is a slave, not because this is a human, not because she is a fishman, but because he has humanity. He understands what she has been through. It's hard. And he wanted to free her. Cause you see the celestial dragons, they mark their slaves. And he knew that she could not live her life and move on from this path if she was haunted by that mark. So guess what his brother Ty did? He put the mark of the sun, the mark of the sun on this girl's back. He changed that slave mark to the mark of the sun. And you know what the sun represents? Can somebody tell me what the sun represents, please? The Lord and Savior, my brother. My Lord. The Lord and Savior, Lord and Savior Nika. <laughs> Mika, please, amen. 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 Now, this is the sad part of this story. This is the sad part. Brother Ty said he was going to bring this girl home. And he did. And this little girl originally feared Fishman. But after spending time with Brother Ty and his crew, she learned a new respect. 
a newfound knowledge, we say. She learned that fishmen weren't bad. Fishmen weren't ferocious. Now you might think just because they're different, just because they are bigger, they might be stronger, that they're gonna hurt you. No. Fishmen can be kind. They, they can't hurt a soul if you don't bother them. Amen. And Brother Ty went and dropped this girl off. And he was dropping her off with the mindset of, if she could learn fishmen are bad, maybe she could teach others and spread the word that fishmen aren't that bad. Mm. And as Brother Ty returns to his ship, the unthinkable happens. The same village that he brought this little girl back to saw Fish of Ty as a monster, a criminal, and sold him out to the world government, the Marines. And he was ambushed. Oh, mm. Nika. He was shot and wounded. But luckily, Brother Jimbe, Brother Jimbe was there to save him. Amen. And got him back mm. to the ship. And Brother Ty was going to live, we all thought. We all thought Brother Ty was going to live. But no, the, the Sun Pirates were going through a rough time at this point. I didn't mention that because it's a long story. So they had to steal a Marine ship to get by for now. And when they got Brother Ty to the hospital bed in that Marine ship, they needed to do a blood transfusion. And on that bed, they had told Fisher Ty, there's no fisherman blood here, but only human blood. And the words that I heard come out of Fisher Ty shocked us. It left us in, in awe. Fisher Ty was on his deathbed, about to receive medical care and turned it down. <clears throat> And you might ask why? Why did Brother Ty turn it down? He looked to us and said, he might understand the truth of humanity and he might not want to be like them. But deep down in his blood, he knows that he can never forgive the humans for what they have done to him. Cause you see, Fisher Ty kept a secret. He kept a secret that he was willing to die with. You see, Fisher Ty, when he originally went to the sun to see the land, he was captured and turned into a slave by a celestial dragon. Mm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Give me a second. Give me a second. He was captured. It's all right. It's all right. He was captured and turned into a slave. So he understands the humanity of humans. He saw the evils firsthand and he knew he would not be able to live another day if he had that evil blood inside of him. But on the other hand, he knew that there, there were people like Princess Otohime who saw the light in everybody and he did believe in her and he wanted her future. But he knew, mm. he knew that there was still evil in the world and he found a different way to fight this evil. He said, I'm gonna fight this evil my own way. I'm gonna live on my own and let this hatred for humans die with me. Cause he understood what o Princess Otohime was talking about. You see, Fisher Tiger understood that if the kids of this world was to see us adults showing off this hatred, this racism, this discrimination they would too because you see mm. kids are sponges kids are sponges i tell you they see and they absorb so if they see hatred they produce hatred if they see kindness they produce kindness so fisher ty did not want these kids to know hatred he wanted them to know the son of nika where joy and happiness could prosper. And Fisher Ty passed away that day because he refused that blood transfusion. 
but Fisher Ty's legacy shall always live on. No matter who you are, no matter who you are, you shall be treated equal. Now, I might not have to like you, but I will respect you. I'm going to say it again. I'm going to say it again. I might not like you, but I will respect you. Amen. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. So if you're seeing this, that means you must have finished the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Now, I'm thinking about posting the full vibe, but uh, I'm not sure yet. Let, let me know by just like, you know, watching it, liking it, even commenting, you know. But uh, thank you for watching. See ya.